Hello everybody, I wanted to record just a quick video that's actually not about any MMO, it's about this channel, and a thank you. Because we just hit 10,000 subscribers, and it's something that I didn't think was possible a couple years ago. I, I'm, I'm humbled, and I just wanted to do a video just to say thank you. To say thank you to you for every time you have clicked on one of my videos, anytime you have shared one of my videos, anytime you've liked the videos. I, I, I don't make content because I think my opinions are the right opinions. I make content to one, the main thing is entertain you. That is the main goal of every video I make. The second is to start some conversation, to engage with you. It is a social thing here. I, I read as many of your comments as I can, I respond when I can, but I also love seeing y'all interplay with each other too. Even even when those comments are telling me how wrong I am on so many of my opinions, like the one about Elder Scrolls Online, that one was a doozy. But thank you so, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for making this channel a possibility. I, I, it's exceeded all expectations already, and I, I'm just at a loss. It feels like it wasn't too long ago that we were just celebrating 5,000 subscribers, and I just thank you so much for for taking the time to watch some guy who played a shit ton of EverQuest, a little bit of Ultima Online, and a lot of other MMOs, too, too many MMOs, some that were just awful. Wow. Uh, but <laughs> too many MMOs. Just talk about, talk some shit. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I want to give a special thank you to the members of the channel, who are on, on Twitch or on Patreon or here because you are helping me avoid taking sponsorships and I really appreciate that. And it's uh, my dream, uh, you know, my, my dream honestly is full on is, I just want to do this full time. Be mostly because there are a lot of times when I want to make a video, but I can't because I don't have enough time. And, and that's really what it comes down to. So thank you everyone thank you if you've ever shared it if you ever watch every comment anytime you've said something nice it means a lot to me it really does i just wanted to say thank you so so what is this channel and what will eventually be the complete content on this channel hi everybody so this is a little bit different of a everquest video this is talking more about something like no actual tips or anything like that because it, this is more about my experiences and what i personally enjoyed so much about everquest progression servers and things that are really don't have a ton to do with the game i'm going on an adventure i'm going on an adventure I'm going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. On an adventure. Going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. I challenge a friend of mine to WoW GeoGuessr. Now I've only played WoW GeoGuessr once, but I played a shit ton of WoW when I was growing up. It is my second most played MMO right after EverQuest. So I was feeling very confident going into this matchup against Mr. Guybrush. Last game. All right, you're with it. No, I don't want to. What did people think of EverQuest, especially in early 2000, when they were leaving reviews on things like Amazon? What did they think of EverQuest when they launched it on Steam? Free graphics, something that no one's saying about EverQuest anymore, sorry to say. 
wretched game. Something plenty of people still say about the game. I, I disagree, but you know what? Let's see what they had to say. I'm talking about the naked corpse run experience. I'm talking about the difficult experience. I'm talking about the panic and fear experience. Dead. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! It's flying, it's flying and it's attacking. It's 2023 and you actually have a lot of different options if you want to play an MMORPG. Now granted, most of those MMOs that you have to pick from are at least 5, 10, or 25 years old, but there's still choices to make. That first experience of an online world. No, I'm not talking about Oh, you're never going to have the great experiences you had with older games, the golden age of MMOs. This isn't about saying that older MMOs are better or anything like that. What I'm talking about is the very first time if you played some of these old classic MMOs, you logged in. That time when the internet was less accessible, that time when we were less connected, when there were fewer ways for us to communicate with each other when things like Discord didn't exist, when the internet was much less advanced than it is now. Logging into a world, a living world, and playing a game with your friends, meeting new friends, lifetime friends. MMOs at the turn of the millennium were a way to connect when we had precious few ways to. It was a way to share adventures with people all over the world when many of us were limited to our streets, our towns, or our schools. It opened up an entirely new world, and for people like me, it was a life-changing experience. It let me be social when being social was terrifying. Yeah, we both have places on there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, welcome everybody. <laughs> welcome to the first annual Scuffed Game Awards. I am Redbeard Flynn, and with me, is my fantastic co-host, Mr. Guybrush. Hello, Mr. Guybrush. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey so far. I look forward to seeing where it's gonna take us in the future.